Number 22. Calculate the hydrogen ion concentration and the hydroxide ion concentration in wine from its pH and see figure 14.2 uh, for useful information. Well, I did that for you guys. I went to figure 14.2 and I looked up what the pH of wine was and it, it was basically between 3 and 4. So I'm going to put that the pH was 3.5. Now from this information... They just want to find out the hydrogen ion concentration. This is another word for saying hydronium, which is H plus or H3O plus, but I'm going to use H plus. And then they wanted to find the hydroxide ion concentration, which is OH minus. So basically from just one value, we have to find two individual pieces of information. Now just know that pH, literally H goes with H. It's on the acidic portion. So since we only have just one piece of information and it's acidic, I'm going to run through the equations that are just acidic for now. Keep in mind that these six equations should be memorized for your test and quiz, especially if your teacher or professor does not let you use them. Um, so just, yeah, flashcard it out, write it down, do whatever you got to do to just memorize these six equations. They will help you tremendously in this chapter. Now I'm trying to look for an H plus and they gave me the acidic, you know, the pH. So look at this one, guys. I can find out the hydrogen ion concentration, AKA hydronium by just doing 10 to the negative pH. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do. So we have H plus and that's always equal to 10 to the negative pH. So H's go with H. So let's figure it out. Whoop. 10 to the negative, whatever that value was, 3.5. And maybe I'll just put that as beautiful. <laughs> Okie dokie. So Calc's out, H plus concentration is just going to be 10 to the negative 3.5. 10 raised to the negative 3.5. And now, if we want to play the sig fig game, just know that the sig figs after the decimal and the pH is the total number of sig figs that you're allowed to use for your H plus concentration. So since there was one sig fig after, your whole value should only have one sig fig. So I can only say three times 10 to the negative fourth. And that's molarity. All right, so half of the equation is done. Now, to maneuver to the next part, there's going to be multiple ways that you can do this. Now, from a safety standpoint, you should always try to get your answers from the standard that you have. You know, if we accidentally didn't have the correct answer here, and we use this to go on to the next part of the question, you would get both answers wrong. So that's why for safety reasons, on a test or quiz, just make sure that you're taking it from what they gave you. So for example, if we did want to go this route, they gave us the pH, and somehow I want to find out the hydroxide concentration now. How would I do that? Can I go from a pH directly down to an OH? Mm -mm. What is pH linked? How am I going to get from a red to a blue? Oh... P-O-H. So from a P-H, you would have to find the P-O-H next. And then from there, get the, P, get the concentration of the hydroxide. Now for quickness, for the sake of the video, I know that this is correct. So I'm going to take this answer and just try to go from uh, hydroxide, um, the hydronium H plus to O-H minus. Now, is there an equation out there that I can go from an H plus to an OH minus? Yes, there is. Here's the H plus and here's the OH minus. The only thing is, do I know a KW? And yes, I do. Now, KW is a standard value. They did not state what temperature we're at. So KW will vary with temperature. But if they don't give you a, a KW value and they don't give you any temperatures, 
the kW value that you have to memorize is 1.0 times 10 to the negative uh, 14th. So basically 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. So I'm just going to use that formula. kW equals the two concentrations multiplied by each other, right? We got the H plus, which they told us, or actually we found that out, 3 times 10 to the negative 4th times by the OH minus, which is what we're trying to solve for. And now we know what that KW is. So let's go for it. 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th equals 3 times 10 to the negative 4th times x. Solve for x. We're just going to divide by 3 times 10 to the negative 4th on both sides. This cancels out. And now we have x, which is the OH minus concentration, right? Maybe I'll just put that down here. OH minus. Calci town. 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by 3 times 10 to the negative 4th. We're only allowed one uh, sig fig, so it's 3 times 10 to the negative 11th, and that's molarity. And there we go. Those are your two answers, guys. Okie dokie. So what do you think? Let me know if this helped or not. Thank you so much for viewing the video, and I hope you guys are having a great day out there. Let's keep studying hard, and I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.